Hello YouTube, I would like to introduce you to my thieves. Thief 1, Thief 2. These cats are stealing thieves. These babies of mine, my babies, they have stolen my makeup brushes. Yes, my makeup brushes. Oh, what's this? Is this a toy? Oh, you think it's a toy? Yeah. I did not introduce them to these. Um, as you all know, have you seen my videos in the past? I have over there um, a thing I made, sort of like the Sephora makeup brush holders that you just put them all in. <sighs> well, this one was actually, my fan brush was actually in the back of it. And somehow, these little buggers, what's this? Is this a toy? Is this a toy? Is this a toy? So, Stacy wakes up one morning and finds this fan brush on her bedroom floor. That's in the other room. <laughs> uh, I also woke up one um, early morning to use the restroom, and I found this brush in my cat's mouth. They're like, and they were dropping it and playing with it and dropping it and playing with it. Something about the texture of these brushes, something about the fur on these brushes really attracts my cats. I'm talking to YouTube about how the cats steal my brushes. You want a free cat? Good for one. So, if you, like, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my, my brush holder. This is, this is how my makeup station is set up. So if you can see, all my fun, great goodies. And these are in here. Those aren't even in the front. That one was there. This one, my fan brush was way back here. And as you can see, there's like a desk area. And the desk area is actually like a second level up. There's like a desk here down in front of me. And there's a desk level there where you guys are. Ridiculous. So the cats have to like somehow get up there and just specifically take that brush and play with it and eat it. If you've seen my videos before, I also tend to put some blush, some highlights, some contour, and then I take my kabuki brush and I buff it out a little if I put too much blush on or something. Well, I had two kabuki brushes. Currently, I have zero. I have no idea where they are. Um, I know the cats were playing with them because they're like, they're like that. They're like the short little, you know, holder with the brush at the top with no handle really. And so I would use it to buff, and they were sitting there. This is the table. They were sitting on my table, and I had two of them. One was a prestige one, which was very nice, that someone even commented about in a video, and the other one was just a cheap wet and wild one. And for some reason, they thought it was like a mouse or a critter or a hamster, and I caught them. I saw them doing this one. The other ones were at night when I wasn't paying attention. But I actually caught them, both of my stealers, and I caught them both grabbing it and running around the house with it. And so I yelled at them and I said, no, those are my brushes, those are not a toy. I mean, seriously, all I have to do is reach down and there's a ball. All I have to do is reach down and there's another toy. These cats have a hundred million toys, but they want mommy's brushes. So like I said, I yelled at them, I put them back multiple times per day. And finally this morning I woke up doing my makeup to go to work. I need my kabuki brush and I had zero. We have searched the whole house. We have looked under the beds, we have looked by the couches, we have looked under the we've looked underneath everything, the whole floor surface we've looked at and we cannot find my kabuki brushes. We cannot find two of them. I can't even find one of the two. Zero. I do not know where these cats hid them. I think that they got mad at me for yelling at them and said, oh yeah, lady, I'm going to take your kabuki brush and I'm going to go hide it. You want the brushes? You want the brushes? It's a brush. It's a brush. They do. They think, um, they think it's a toy. You want this brush? You want this brush? So now I'm freaking out because I have this awesome holder where I can just grab and do my makeup and it's perfect. And now my cats eat my brushes. I think they ate my kabuki brush slash cat hamster toys. And I'm sad. <laughs> I don't want to invest in any more until the cats decide that 
they no longer want to eat them. Kabuki brush, eat off! Get our brush, eat off! Don't eat the brushes! I know it's like, what's the word? It goes against like training them not to play with them. But look, look at, look at, look at them. Jason, you see him? Look at it. He loves it. I love the brush. You think it's a toy? This one I really don't use that much, so. This is my makeup brush. This is natural toy. So, anyways, FYI, if you get new kittens, keep them away from your brushes. This one's made out of goat hair. Goat hair. So that was my rant for the night about my cats stealing my makeup brushes. If I ever find them, I will let you know. If they magically appear one day because they crawled and they found where they put it. I mean, I swear to God they hit it, like, on purpose. If I ever find them, <laughs> I will let you know, you two. I will let you know. On a happier note, I got my bangs back again. <laughs> I had to let them grow out for the summer because I like how they look. I just don't like how they feel because they're annoying on your face in the summer. But they look cute, so and they hide my big forehead. <laughs> so yes, that's the happy note. Sad note. If anyone has a million kabuki brushes and would like to donate theirs, let me know. <laughs> Thanks for watching my videos and stay tuned for more. I promise they're coming. Work has been insane lately. Insane. I've got a couple videos I need to edit and send onto YouTube, and I will. I will. Bye. I'm going to go play with my cats to get my brushes back. See you, YouTube.